you know if you talk about a shopkeeper uh, or or a person going to a shop and buying 30 watermelons that never happens right so uh, the relatability factor is missing in a lot of uh, math curriculum or math curricula that is there in the world and we try to bridge that gap by making it more relatable and we make students very curious um with respect to each and every topic that we teach what i have experienced was okay you apply this formula you get the answer i applied the formula i got the answer i was happy uh, the teacher was happy because i got the marks and my parents were happy because i got the marks however the point is lost i mean why am i doing this right where is it applicable in the real world nobody asked me this nobody made me curious regarding this but that's exactly how um, i got interested in mathematics and i was curious uh, towards mathematics uh, and that's exactly why I'm, i'm where i am right so i want to give this flavor of um, having fun with mathematics to each and every child across the world students are not um, people who are consuming content out of youtube where they just keep on consuming that's not how it should work because there is learning involved they need to proactively ask a lot of questions and uh, we make sure that the learning happens at each and every stage um, during the time they are advanced hi everyone i'm my name is krishna i'm i'm one of the co-founders at panzu my main work revolves around creating the content and curriculum for kids to enjoy math in a very fun way whenever we have our brainstorming sessions which is very often we talk about uh, two very important things one is how do we introduce the curiosity element in every topic that we introduce if you talk about a shopkeeper uh, or or a person going to a shop and buying 30 watermelons that never happens right so uh, the relatability factor is missing in a lot of uh, math curriculum or math curricula that is there in the world and we try to bridge that gap by making it more relatable and we make students very curious um with respect to each and every topic that we teach if i did not understand something back when i was in school i used to go there the teacher used to refer to a textbook where there was a formula written okay you apply this formula you get the answer i applied the formula i got the answer i was happy uh, the teacher was happy because i got the marks and my parents were happy because i got the marks however the point is lost i mean why am i doing this right where is it applicable in the real world nobody asked me this nobody made me curious regarding this but that's exactly how um, i got interested in mathematics and i was curious uh, towards mathematics um uh, and that's exactly why I, i'm where i am so i want to give this flavor of um having fun with mathematics to each and every child across the world right now in order to do this we need to make the students curious so if a student comes to me and asks me hey why is the answer this and not that well i'll probably give him or her a uh, 360 degrees overview what do you think the answer can be you know uh, or why exactly did you take this approach what would happen if you take another approach are there multiple approaches possible for the same thing now if it is possible then what are those okay let's think about those out loud and then by following each and every technique are you getting to the are you arriving at the same answer or a different answer if it's different then why it is different if it's same then which one takes a shorter amount of time to get there and we just follow that for the rest of uh, uh, the kinds of problems that we solve let's say they are trying to figure out what is a plus b whole square we exactly tell students why is a plus b whole square a square plus 2ab plus b square right in multiple uh, methods as i said it's not just an algebraic method that we follow we show them geometrically also we take the binomial root also so we take this multiple roots and the students follow whatever they are comfortable with in the beginning and that's actually one way of making the students aware of what all possibilities are there and what is possible using mathematics all students should have this level of understanding that's what we're trying to do we give a lot of value and weightage to the kind of questions that the students are asking and we reward them on that so we reward students who ask more questions right it's not it's just not people who complete their homework and stay silent no people should ask more questions people should make more mistakes that's exactly how the learning process works a student's learning process depends a lot on how they interact with the teacher right 
So uh, that's that's something that we give a lot of weightage to. It's not like a uh, an information an information consumer, right? Students are not um, people who are consuming content out of YouTube, where they just keep on consuming. That's not how it should work. Because there is learning involved, they need to proactively ask a lot of questions, and uh, we make sure that the learning happens at each and every stage um, during the time they're advancing. We get to deal with a lot of data, you know, how the students are learning, what is working for one student might not work with a different student, you know, it depends a lot on their background. So what do we do in such scenarios? How do we create um, interest in students? How do we come up with more and more examples? There are always revisions to the curriculum that we uh, design, always, right? So many experiments that we conduct and, um, you know, all these experiments, we execute them we do A-B testing, it's just like marketing, right? I mean, uh, you do A-B testing, see what's working and go with the best one. And discussing all of this with the fastest human calculator is very exciting. I've learned a lot while working with the fastest human calculator with, with Banu. It's just unprecedented. I mean, you can't just imagine the pace at which he works and the kinds of things he thinks of, even to make the minutest of the minutest changes uh, in the curriculum. And uh, it's just brilliant. And I should say that's uh, one of the main, 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 main reasons why I love my work, why I look forward to uh, work at Banzu.